Hello, math fans. Welcome to the Physics Math Wizard. And for today, I have a very special guest on my channel. He's Natal from the channel, The Young Mathematician. And I'm glad to have him here today as we share some insights on some interesting mathematical problem. And um, what we are going to be doing today is uh, I'll give him a problem and he will try to solve it. And um, we'll see how that goes. So before we get started, Natal, would you uh, like to introduce yourself to my viewers? Yes. Yeah, so hi, everyone. I am Natal Trevo. I am from Canada and I run the YouTube channel Young Mathematician. And I am currently in, is that eighth grade or secondary two, depending on which country, which country you're in. And I also really love music. I'm a percussionist. So yeah, that's okay, basically yeah. who I am. All right, that's interesting uh, to have such a young mathematician like you. I hope uh, everyone who sees you will be inspired to you know, pursue mathematics. One of the things that uh, really puzzles me is how much people find math uh, very challenging. I, I work as a teaching assistant at high school and a lot of students really think mathematics is that hard. So I think it's inspiring to have yeah. someone of your age do mathematics this good. Uh, yeah, and also, mm. it's like the same thing for me because I have one member of my family, as I said in my 1000 subs q I have one member of my family who like couldn't care less about mathematics. She's like a trombonist currently. And I also have one of my classmates that like mathematics is like her beast. Like she just mm -mm -mm. so so yeah. I, I try to help her, and it often devolves into laughs. Okay, so my problem for you is an interval again because I saw you like intervals. It's from the yeah. It's from the twenty fourteen MIT integration B. I write, I write in tech B because I'm lazy to write everything out. It was question 90 on the qualifier test. And it is the integral from zero to one over the square root of three of the square root of x plus the square root of x squared plus one with respect to x. <coughs> Okay, so I'll write that on my board here, just to make sure it's visible. So that's yeah. the integral. I'll just write a little lower, the integral of uh, the square root yeah. of x yeah. plus the square root of x squared plus one, is that it? From zero to one over the square root of three. 0 to 1 over square root of 3 dx. Okay, so yeah, this, this okay. looks interesting. Uh, so let's see, um, where do I begin for this integral? So I like to start by thinking about the simplest possible methods, like, you know, the elementary bits of integration. In fact, my way of solving integrals is usually to think about uh, there are some integrals which I can directly see and I sort of know which method to use, but just in case I can't tell, I try out you know, all possible methods uh, to see which one is going to give me the answer. So I usually like to start with seeing if a change of variable like a U sub can give me the solution. So yeah. let's, see, let's see what I have here. Um, let's see if a U sub is going to be useful. Um, let's see, so if I'm to use a U sub here, I would probably let this to be U and then, um, okay, let me, let me try that out, probably, just uh, give it a try, so if I let, uh, okay, I think that's high, okay, can you see here? Yeah, yeah, I can see. Okay, okay. so if I let U, for example, to be uh, the... Okay, that's, uh, let me just leave out the square root. I have x squared plus one. So du will be just two x um, plus, sorry, that's just two x uh, dx. Okay, so with this, I can substitute for dx, but that's going to be du over two x, but I still have an x here. 
which hasn't gone away. So perhaps I can substitute that with this, but that's going to be the square root of u minus one, um, which I think is even more complicated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's getting more complicated. <laughs> yeah, so that should be um, me. Oh, I shouldn't put this. Let me just write it and see if that goes anywhere. So x would be the square root of, um, so that should be u minus one plus all this should be u and then, uh, okay, this should be du divided by two x, which is two times the square root of uh, u minus one. Hmm. Yeah, this looks even more complicated. I don't think this is a u sub, yeah. so I'll just take this off and try something and else. Also, uh, yes? Should it be square root of u instead of the square root? Should it be square root of u minus one plus the square root of u because u is the square root, uh, u is just x squared plus one. Oh, I, I didn't get you. Come on. No, but like, it's the u is x squared plus one, but it's inside of the square root in, so so it should be the square root of u, not the square, oh, not okay. just u. Oh yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, yeah, you're right. And I think this looks even more complicated, so. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What if I try to think about this in terms of uh, integration by parts? Well, I don't think that works here because this is just one composite function and um, this is just one composite function. I, I kind of don't see the parts, the u and uh, uh, the vdx sort of. Um, how about thinking the, about this in terms of a trig substitution? Um, okay, so if I think about a trig substitution, let's see if this, if I let x be uh, perhaps tan, oh, sorry. Uh, so let x be maybe tan of theta. Um, in that case, I would have the integral of the square root of tan theta plus, so the square root of tan squared theta plus one, I think that is sec of theta because um, tan squared theta plus one is sec squared theta. Yeah, so that's right. That should be right. Oh, I didn't think about this. So uh, dx is obviously going to be, so that's going to be one plus um, tan squared <coughs> theta, uh, the theta, okay. Ah, all right. Let's see from here. Here's a hint. Okay. First of all, you forgot your bounds. Second of all, the one plus tangent square theta, leave it leave it as secant square theta. It will be much easier. Uh, I leave this as secant squared theta, the theta. All right. <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So let me first change the limits, and then I try another substitution from this. So the limits here, I have, um, I have theta, sorry, I have x and then theta. So I have x from zero to one over root three. So, uh, oh, I'm using the substitution x equals tan theta, so theta is, the arctan of x, so uh, when this is zero, that should be a zero. And when this is pi over three, uh, sorry, one over three, that should be um, oh. pi over six. 
Yeah, yeah, it's power oh. six. Okay, yeah. yeah. Because the tangent of thirty of power six is the sine over the cosine. So square root of wait, yeah, one half over the square root of three over two, the two scans also we are left with one over the square root of three. Oh yeah. So that's five over six. Okay, so I'm thinking of introducing another substitution. So I just <coughs> want to leave this out. So the other substitution I could think of is I'm trying to get rid of the square root, but it seems not to be going. That's my strategy. <laughs> yeah. Like, what did you say? Nice we didn't have a square root, so you could continue peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway. but, uh, there is no square root to bully us. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's true. So let's see. Uh, so this is um, tan theta. Well, that should be tan theta is uh, six squared theta minus one. So that should be u squared minus one plus sec theta is u. Okay. And I don't think this can be fact. This is not a complete, a perfect square. I don't think this is a perfect square, so that won't take away the square root either. Uh, so this is u squared. And to make matters worse, let's see, instead of d theta, okay, instead of d theta, I have d u divided by, so that should be sec theta, which is u times tan theta. Uh, tan theta should be u squared minus one. But uh, here's a hint. Okay. D d don't bring the second word theta. Like, d just so you know, no more substitutions. Try to use integration by parts on your second integral, not the one with the second theta in the inside of the screw on this one. Like, yeah, this one. Okay. Use integration by parts on that one. Let me try that. All right, so yeah, actually, should have thought of integration by parts. Um, so, so let's see. U dv equals u v minus integral v du, sort of. So. Uh, let's see which part. Okay, I like to complete this one here. Let me just say the theta. Okay, so let's see which part is going to be easier to uh, differentiate. I think this looks easier to differentiate. Um, let's see, will I be able to integrate this? Yes. I should. Okay, so uh, let me see. Okay, so in that case, I'll let my u to be this. <coughs> okay, tan theta plus sec theta. So add uh, u d theta. Okay, uh, that should be one half. This is going to be too long, six squared theta plus six theta, tan theta. Uh, times tan theta plus sec theta to the power negative one half. Hmm. Okay. And then um, I'll have my dv d theta. What's that going to be? dv d theta, that's going to be six squared theta. And then v will just be tan theta. Okay. All right, so 
Uh, let me just clean up, I guess, here. Um, so that should be the integral from zero, yes, to, okay, I'll just put this later. Let me, actually, I think I should just leave this out because it's going to be long. So let me just write uh, the, the thing after integrating by parts, so I have u, v. So this is my u, this is my v, so I have tan theta times the square root of tan theta plus sec theta minus the integral of, um, so I have v, which is tan theta, times du d theta, which is one half uh, times this right here, six squared theta plus, uh, I think I can factorize out, um, can factorize out six theta, so maybe. I don't know if that will be helpful. Let me try that. So, sec theta, that leaves me with um, sec theta plus tan theta. Sec theta plus tan theta. All this divided by uh, the square root of tan sec theta plus tan theta, same thing. <coughs> theta, and this should reduce with this. So I can as well take this off and I just put the square root right here. Okay, and okay, so, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about integration by parts. I don't see how this is going to, yeah. to apply, but let me, okay, just use this color. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to let this, um, Sorry. I think uh, which one is easier to integrate so you uh, Okay, so I'll have uh, u times v. <coughs> so my u v, that's going to be the square root of sec theta plus tan theta. Okay. Um, the uh, sec theta, okay. <coughs> Minus, I think I, I have to take that off. I'll just write it here, minus the integral of, so uh, that should be, that was V, so this should be U. No, 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 that should be V, which is sec theta. And then du d theta, which is, what I have there already, which is one half of uh, I think actually I can make use of this very thing here, uh, which is going to be okay. I'll just do it again. So 
that's going to be one half. I factorize out sec, so that becomes squared. Then I have um, uh, one, sorry, I have, um, yeah, I just have sec, secant of theta plus tan theta. I think this should just be under a square root, the theta. And so this was equal to this. And so I was only working out this, which is now equal to this. Uh, okay, just have more space here. Okay, uh, I just wish I had a bigger board here. So that, that way I would see everything straight. So I'm trying to see the magic that you promised me. <laughs> so let's see. Like, yes, you're saying something? Try writing in your bounds, it'll be more obvious. Oh, okay. So let's see, my boundaries are from zero to pi over six. Actually, I think I should first put in the limits so that I, I make this shorter a little bit. So yeah. let's see if I put in uh, pi over six here, <coughs> that should give me, um, let me just write that here, then I'll transfer it. So if I put in pi over six, that would be one over root three. Uh, times the square root of one over root three. Plus, that should be root three. Nope, not root three. That's one over cos of um, pi over six. That's a uh, 30 degrees cos one over cos 30, which is a uh, sine 60, that's one over root three over two. So that should be two over root three. I hope. Uh, yeah, that should be. Oh. That should be right. Okay. So That's right. that should be one over root three times, this is just uh, the square root of root three. Uh, that's three, three over root three, uh, which is, um, let's see, so I can simplify this any further. Root three divided by, so down here I have, um, root three times, let's see, that's three to power one half times three to power one half times one half, one quarter, which is three quarters. Uh, I think this is kind of the simplest way to write this instead of writing, okay, I think I can, yeah, I see. So this is three to power one half divided by three to power three quarters. <clears throat> And if I subtract, that will be three to power one quarter negative. Uh, let's see if I put in zero, that's zero, zero, uh, oh, zero will make everything zero. So yes. I hope this should be three to power uh, this. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, if I can just say. That's the fourth root of three. Okay. Anyway, so minus uh, one half of this. And I think I might as well. So let me also evaluate this right here. Uh, yeah. if, I, if I put in uh, five over six. Okay. Visible. Yeah, 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 you should evaluate this right again as well. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Do what you are going to do. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. So I put in pi over six here. Uh oh. By the way, isn't this the? Oh no. So I actually had. Uh, oh, I think it was the same. I should have anyway. So that was the square root of uh, 2 over root 3 plus 1 over root 3, which was 3 over root 3 times, uh, that's 2 over root 3. Okay, still, if I put in 0 here, that's going to be, hmm, okay, that's, that's not 0. So if I put in 0 here, that's one. Okay, it should because cosine of zero is one. Is that right? Yeah, the cosine of zero is one. Okay, so that should be one plus zero plus one. Okay, one plus zero, that's a one times one. That's just one. <coughs> so, so what do I have here? Well, um, two root three on top here. Uh, down I have three to power one over four and three to power one half. Three to power three over four, sorry. Um, yeah, three over four. I subtract a half three to power negative one over four. So anyway, uh, okay. So instead of this, I'll just bring this here. I'll say minus one half. Then I open a big bracket. Then I have, so that is here. Oh, I haven't subtracted one. So this is something like two divided by the fourth root of three. I'm probably confused right now. I'm not sure if I'm using like the simplest notation to represent this, but I'll just yeah. stick to that. So two divided by fourth root of three minus one. And then minus, okay, so minus, I think I don't need this anymore. No, you don't, you don't need it anymore. Yep. So, so I have minus <coughs> this right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have minus one half the integral from zero to pi over six. Oh, which is what I have here. <laughs> yes, that's okay. the logic I thought was going to happen. I see. Uh, so I actually don't need to write this now because so if I put in this one half here, <coughs> let me just do this. So this is going to be negative one half times negative one half that should be plus one over four and then times whatever that integral is let me just call it i and all this is also i so i'll just bring that here uh if i pick another color here 
So if I bring this here, I'll have a negative, sorry, sorry, I'll have three over four i. So i alone is going to be four over three. Four over three of this whole thing here, which is, uh, let me just take off some of these parts. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I think I can expand this right up. Okay, I'll just put everything times four over three afterwards. So uh, let's see, that's uh, one half times this, the two just cancels. So I'll have, um, this is fourth root of three and then plus one half. Okay, that's it, which equals, so this cancels with this. I have two, two thirds. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is one of the hardest challenges I've, uh, I've ever had. Yeah, but uh, it's been interesting, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I can't it believe the like answer I can't believe the answer is is uh, this simple uh, looking at all <laughs> uh, all the steps we had to, to take to to arrive at the solution yeah because that's pretty why I chose this interval because it makes you think that you don't usually do it makes you make like weird manipulations and stuff like that oh yeah true uh, and and uh, one thing I actually, uh, I, I usually do a lot of integration stuff on my channel, but one thing I, I, I kind of hate about different, uh, sorry, about integration is that um, a, a lot of times uh, there are two things. You either have to guess which method is going to work very well. If at all there is uh, an analytical solution, and of course, sometimes it's not. But yeah. uh, of course, if if this question is given, you you're sure there is an analytical solution. But but you know you have to hope between two things: either you guess what the right um, uh, method is, or there is a theorem that you have to apply. In which case, if you don't know that theorem, you'll never get to the right answer. So yeah. sometimes integration seems like ah, uh, and and I think. Um, that's why I like differentiation more because mm, there is not so much of a trick uh, when it comes to what method yeah. to use. I mean, it's sort of always direct. Uh, yeah, also, uh, it's been an interesting for challenge. It really depends on the function. If you differentiate like something like sin x over x, it's true that it's easy just use the quotient rule. But if we differentiate like e to the sine x divided by x to the x, now it's much more laborious. So yeah. It's true. <laughs> yeah, and also I like integration more because like there's there are a lot of tricks. So you, so it's like you don't know what's going to come. Each interval is its own unique interval. So that's what I like about integration. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for hosting me. This has been really uh, a nice, challenging problem. I think I had to request for like five hints <laughs> to, to pull this off. But uh, yeah, I like this challenge. At least uh, I think I've learned something new from this. And uh, yeah, yeah um, probably one thing that happened along the way, I got kind of confused. I, I, I don't know how I actually did see the, the, the anti-derivative of uh, second theta tan theta. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I, I, I got kind of nervous, honestly, and uh, I was like, ah, I, I, 
the moment I couldn't, uh, um, the moment the integral gets bigger, you kind of start to think, well, probably I'm going the wrong way. I'm never going to get the solution. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happens uh, uh, sometimes. 